Hey guys, um, just want to make a quick video tonight. Uh, I had to delete the other two videos that I made, so we're gonna start off with this uh, little short video here. This is how I like to package my gizzard shad when I have to buy them or catch them the day before I use them. Um, this time it's been cold. I haven't been out of the lake in a while. Me and buddy, we're gonna brave the snow and ice and rain tomorrow, and we'll try to go out and catch some blue cats. Um, so here I got some little five to five to six inch gizzard shad bought here locally. I had to get travel about an hour to go get them. But um, the way that I <clears throat> like to package these to kind of keep them good and fresh for tomorrow, they've been um, on ice in a on a in a bag in an ice bag on top of ice, keeping it separate so the water doesn't mix. But even in that little bag. All the slime and the moisture is already on the fish when you put them in. It fills that bag up so they sit in it for a while. So you can see they're already starting to get some some pink uh, bloodlines and stuff in them where they um, where they died. So what I like to do is take put them in or take a um, unscented paper towel. I like to wrap or roll them up. And get them good and get all the moisture and slime off of them that I can. Um, and you can see I wear latex gloves to kind of heat, keep the smell off of me and keep my scent off those. Um, I even try to wear them when I'm prepping my bait on my cutting board. But, um, I try to get them good and dried off. This will keep them from spoiling overnight. Then take Take a fresh paper towel that's dry. I like to take them, lay them in, and just roll them up into the paper towel. Just kind of fold it up around them. This will pull it, pull some more moisture out of them, but it'll also protect them. And then I'll stick them in a little Ziploc freezer bag. And I usually put two per bag in there. Or uh, two uh, gizzard shad per bag if they'll fit. Sometimes I'll put me able to put one of them in there. We'll do another one real quick. See they're good and slimy. And uh, I to try to get all that off. Just, yeah, and um, one thing I was always wondering is if taking the slime off of them would do away with some of the good fishy smell but that slime if you let it them simmer in it it's to me I believe it would just kind of give them a good spoiled or not a good book smell but it'll kind of spoil and do it but the fish had gizzards had plenty of they stink bad enough as it is and they got plenty of oil inside of them so whenever you're fishing it's going to release it's going to be cold tomorrow so you got to have to get a good oily smelling fish um and they have plenty of odor. Trust me, my whole building out here smells like a bait shop. Overnight, before I get all the air out of the bag that I can. Don't know if it really matters, but it's just a habit I've always been in. Whenever I'm packaging anything, any kind of meat, get all the extra air out of can. Then I like to stack them flat into my um, little mini fridge I keep out here. My wife uh, put the nicks on putting my bait fish in the house after a uh, incident in our refrigerator with a bucket of a uh, sunny stink bait didn't go very well but um have any questions post comments send me a message and i'll try to get back to you as soon as i can thanks y'all have a good weekend